Hey guys, it's Liv. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a, well, as you can see from what's in front of me, a bulk haul video. Um, I did not buy all of these products just now. Some of them I did, but I wanted to show you kind of like the full extent of all of my bulk products and the stuff I buy in bulk. And then I'll kind of go over which things I buy on like a weekly basis and which things last quite a bit longer. So I hope that this is super um, interesting and I know you guys have been waiting for this. So let's get into it. For those of you who don't know, myself and my good friend Katie have a podcast together and it is a zero waste themed podcast. It's called No Trash Talk and every week we put out an episode that covers anything zero waste related, but the exciting news is that we actually just launched an ebook called The Zero Waste Beginner's Guide. We've been working on it for a while now and it is officially available. But if you guys heard me talking about the vegan bundle at the beginning of January, I brought it back with 30 extra ebooks in it. So it is now 90 ebooks for only $50. It is only available until February 7th. So it's only on sale for five more days. And our ebook, the Zero Waste Beginner's Guide, normally sells for $25 but you can get it plus 89 other eBooks for $50. I can put all the information below, so if you wanna check it out, click the links below. Also, for all the people who have already purchased the bundle back in January, you all get the other eBooks as well, so don't worry, you don't have to pay a single cent more, but for people who haven't gotten the bundle, seriously don't miss out because it's so amazing. I have pretty much spent all of January making my way through the eBooks and I mean, you guys know I made kind of some big changes in my diet and stuff, and it's all thanks to the bundle. Like, I've really kind of put my health at the forefront, and as you know, I've been feeling so much better, and it's just been a good start to 2020. So make sure you guys get the bundle. Don't wait. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about bulk shopping. I feel like I talk about bulk shopping a lot with, like, the podcast and on my Instagram, but I kind of want to just cover the basics for people who don't know exactly how it works and like how I do it. So here we go. So I have cotton produce bags and then I also have these mesh ones. This kind of produce bag you can use for literally everything. I use it for like coffee, pasta, rice, beans, sometimes even a flour because they're washable. So you literally like just turn it inside out and wash it. So these are honestly so amazing and they're really, really easy to use, like even easier than jars because they take up no space. You can literally just like fold it up and shove it in your coat pocket. But I do also obviously use jars and I like using jars because then I can just literally take them from the bulk store and put them right into my pantry and there's no like transferring bags and stuff. Um, and it's also, I like glass jars because you can see what's in them. So you can see like when you're getting low, what's actually in it, all of that. I feel like no one's surprised by my biggest jar. So with this biggest jar that I got, I think I bought it for like $11, which seems like a lot of money to spend on a jar, but it's huge. It is so heavy duty and it is absolutely perfect for the amount of pasta that I buy. So I do change up every week, like, well, not every week, every time I go bulk shopping, what kind of pasta I get, but I've been really super loving the mini lasagna noodles for my lasagna soup recipe. Um, we eat it like, very frequently. <laughs> and then in my second biggest jar, we get coffee beans. So you guys saw my espresso maker, um, Trade Coffee sent me some video or some coffee in my last video. So we've been using that, but normally we just fill this up. It costs between like 15 and $30, depending on if the coffee's on sale to fill up this jar. And then if we only use this, this lasts us about two weeks for Greg and I to both have like one to two coffees a day. Okay, the next container that I use, I think I got this container like at the dollar store five years ago. I just use this for oats. In another big jar, I put my rice, and this usually lasts me like a couple weeks to a month, so I'll usually have to refill this like monthly. Um, but as you know, rice is fairly cheap, especially if you buy it in bulk, so I love that. Another really big container, I got this one from Ikea, and I don't think I actually take this to the bulk store. I think I usually use a produce bag and then just dump it into here because the lid's super loose. These are dairy-free chocolate chunks. Another one is quinoa. I don't eat tons and tons of quinoa, so like if I fill this up, it'll last probably a couple months. Also, Greg doesn't really eat quinoa, so <laughs> he doesn't love it. 
Um, so I don't go through quinoa that often, but I do like to use a fairly large jar um, just so that I have it. My newest and very favorite find from Bulk Barn is powdered vegetarian chicken broth. You can just use regular cold water and just whisk it in because it's a powder and it tastes exactly like chicken broth. It's crazy, um, but there's no chicken in it. So this is like my favorite thing ever. I use it to make seitan, soups, anything that I would use broth in really. Brown and red lentils. Um, I use these quite a lot now in like pastas, chilies, my chili cheese fries, we use them, um, a mix of them. They're just so good to have on hand. Another thing that is a new find that I didn't even know Bulk Burn had was super fine ground almond flour. And so this is really good in like cookies and other baked goods because it's not super chunky, like it actually acts like a flour, which is really nice. Cornmeal, and I really just use it for cornbread, but my cornbread recipe is, it's, it's the thing. It's so good. This is obviously not a bulk product, but it is in a glass bottle, so that's nice. This is, called organic coconut sauce also known as coconut aminos or like coconut secret sauce um, it's basically a natural soy sauce alternative and if you guys have seen any of my recent videos i think i like showed a couple different bottles there's a bunch of brands that make this but this is just the one that the bulk store sells and i use this in place of soy sauce most of the time just because i'm a little bit sensitive to soy so if i eat too much of it my stomach really hurts um so obviously i try and limit it if i'm like out at a restaurant and something contains soy i'm usually fine but on a daily basis because i do use a lot of this kind of stuff um i will use the soy sauce alternative another thing that i buy that they were actually out of this time and i'm so sad is vital wheat gluten because i really like making seitan and yeah, it's like a good soy-free meat alternative if you can tolerate gluten, which I can. So yeah, I really like that, but they didn't have any this time, so I don't have any. Um, what was in this? This is from my last trip. Oh yeah, this is actually from my last video. Um, these are just the brown rice crips, crips, <laughs> crisp cereal. Um, I made the hempy bars from Earthy Andy in my last video. Um, so I have some leftovers from that. They're just like crispy brown rice. This was actually from a different bulk store. It's called Illuminate Co. And I got some spelt flour and then I have another bag where I got whole wheat flour. What else do we got? Oh yeah, raw cashews. So these are super expensive. So I usually only fill up this little tiny jar and this lasts a couple weeks. Also hemp seeds. So I usually don't fill this up. I'll usually fill it about halfway and I put one to two tablespoons in our smoothies every morning and it lasts quite a while. Like I probably refill this monthly and they're not that expensive, especially in bulk, but I like to have this jar so that I can just like quickly open it in the morning and like grab some hemp seeds and throw them in. Cocoa powder, nutritional yeast. This is exciting because they, so in like the spice, aisle in the bulk store the spice baskets are like really really small for the most part because people are buying small amounts of spices and the nutritional yeast used to be in there and i would basically like sell them out every time because i would take so much of it but now they have it in one of the regular bulk bins which is like this big and this tall i usually fill this up in this last a couple months um unless i'm like making a ton of mac and cheese but I haven't really made that in a while so yeah this lasts a long time so i buy baking soda in a big one like this because you can use baking soda for like cleaning things for homemade beauty products for i used it for a carpet deodorizer when my dog peed on my carpet and it worked really well so i just like to have <laughs> i just like to have a big bottle of it um i do use it for baking as well but you know Is she knocking split peas these honestly Oops. The only thing I would use these for is my split pea soup. Um, I made that in my deli series video with the Monte Cristo sandwich. So good. And now I feel like I want to make split pea soup again. Um, but I just have a big bottle of this, so I'm literally never going to run out of it. Sesame seeds. If you fill up a huge bottle like this, it'll literally, literally last forever. And then in this last bag is shredded coconut. So if you guys saw it in my last video um, when I made Tess Bags cookies from actually her ebook oh sweet vegan is in the vegan bundle so if you guys want that cookie recipe definitely go check out the bundle so basically what you do i'm sure it's different at um, other bulk stores because i know some of them they let you weigh them by yourself but basically what i do is i will bring my empty jars in they will weigh them on their scale and then put a little number on top and that's just the weight of the actual jar 
and I don't have to do that every time like if the number hasn't worn off then I just you don't have to reweigh it but basically you just fill it up and then they'll put in this number when you bring it up to pay so that they take off the weight of the jar so you're just paying for what's inside which is really cool especially if you have like a heavy jar like this um and yeah it's super easy like you literally just bring your jars in fill them up bring them home and put them in your cupboard it honestly couldn't be easier and then you don't have a bunch of you know, plastic bags and tin cans and annoying stuff to deal with. Bulk shopping is kind of like one of the biggest things you can do to reduce your waste because I find a lot of my waste is from food. So being able to limit it this much with like this many different items is really cool. Who is texting me? Okay, dad. So yeah, that is it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to go check out my ebook, The Zero Waste Beginner's Guide, and also the vegan bundle. If you guys are seriously considering getting the... Hola. Hi. Come here. Okay. Is your booty off? Oh, I think I took it off. Put your paws up. If you guys are seriously considering getting the ebook, then you should definitely consider getting the bundle because the bundle is an amazing deal. That is everything for me today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you, Willa, for ruining the end of my video. Um, but I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.